Hey everybody, welcome back to another crafting show with me, Aviva, your art director from the Adazer Family Center. Today, I'm gonna to be showing all of you guys how to make your own airbrush pen from just a few materials that you probably have at your house. Okay, let's get started. So, you're gonna need, um, I'm using like a Crayola-y kind of pen, like any type of water-based pen would be great that has um, a lot of pigment to it. I've seen a lot of like, really great paint markers that also work really well with this, but today I'm just using um, a washable marker. And then you're gonna need a ballpoint pen. This is the most important part because you wanna make sure that it can kind of come apart easily. Um, Cause you're gonna need just the tube bit. And if you don't have a pen, you can also use a straw or any other kind of like sturdy tube. And some paper, and that's about it. So. Come on over, let's get crafty and I'll show you how to do it. What we're going to be doing to make our homemade airbrush is that we're going to be taking a pen and you're gonna try and shimmy out this little back cap of the pen and take out the actual like pen device, okay? You're not gonna be needing those, you're just gonna be needing this tube bit. It should have no ink on it or anything, but if you don't wanna, definitely don't wanna get ink on your face, you can give it a little rinse beforehand. And so what you're gonna do is you could take any color, I think I'm gonna actually go with like a blue, and you're going to uncap it, take your little tube, and you're gonna cover, like what you're gonna do is you're gonna blow into the tube, but right on top of the actual tip. So you see how when, I blow, when I'm about to blow, it's covering the entire triangle tip? You don't wanna do it on the edge, you wanna get the whole entire tip. So you're gonna go very close to the paper, hold the paper down so it doesn't fly away, and blow. Just like that. And it should end up giving you like a little bit of a splattery paint. You can hear that I was blowing really hard. And so you can do this with so many different colors and you can even incorporate stencils. I have some stencils here as well that you could also use. You can cut out so many different types of paper to make really cool designs with your um, airbrush pen. So I actually have mine taped from behind. You don't want any tape covering the edges or you might get like an uneven like outer bit where the stencil lies. And then I'm also doing the same thing on the actual cutout piece. You can use both bits of the stencil. One have an inverted and um, another version of it as well. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make a cool design with my stencils here. Now that I've laid my color down, you can slowly remove your stencils and then you end up with a really cool kind of, almost like a firework pattern of a design. And so I can even bring this up a little bit closer for you friends. Really cool, right? You can incorporate this into any type of card or any type of like watercolor painting. You could easel, you can also like have fun with letters and words. And always use both pieces of your stencil because you can have a really cool design with both little pieces. All right, that is gonna be our project for today. I really enjoyed doing this. It definitely does leave you a little bit lightheaded and you really gotta make sure you don't inhale. These markers are non-toxic. So keep that in mind if you're doing this with any like younger creative people. So really just only exhale and drink some water afterwards. But it's a really fun project and I definitely recommend it. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys next time for another fun crafting video next week. But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye everybody.